everyone, what's up? Welcome to the next episode of the Venom Vlog. I think this is episode like seven or something like that now. And I'm kind of squeezing this in. I didn't have any like intro to film today of like working out and all that. I took the day off. Um, I've been really not sleeping very well lately. I've been, uh, my health is kind of in flux. I think it's because of maybe some of the stuff I'm doing. So I'm you know, going to be talking with my doctor figuring things out, but I am going to be continuing that stuff. I just wanted today just for something that's a little bit, you know, off topic of venom and off topic of like weight loss and fitness and stuff like that, which is stars, uh, resident evil. I'm wearing my star shirt. We just did 24 hours of content for resident evil. And, and I don't mean 24 full hours. It wasn't like I streamed for that whole time, uh, basically at midnight last night. And now it's like, you know, 12, 15 now on uh, December 13th. And at midnight on December 12th, right when it became midnight uh, Pacific Standard Time, I started uploading a bunch of Resident Evil stuff to my channel. I I'm a big Resident Evil fan. I love Resident Evil. I love the characters. I'm a big fan of Chris Redfield. And so I just started uploading things that I hadn't uploaded yet try to get as many videos as, up as I could. I had some technical difficulties, so I was hoping to get like 20 videos uploaded today. And unfortunately landed like around 12 because of some technical problems. Uh, we streamed three times today, but this, the third stream, unfortunately we had problems again, technical problems, audio problems. So we ended that pretty early too. But I got a ton of footage today and basically every hour I wanted to be doing something. So if I didn't post something on YouTube, I was streaming. If I didn't stream, I was posting on YouTube and then also posting Instagram pictures. So uh, all my information, in Instagram, Twitch, all that stuff is down below. Make sure you follow me on those. I'd love to have you guys over there and talk with us about different topics like Venom and other things. So that was a lot of fun. So I didn't have a, a proper intro here. Uh, for this video. But the last thing I want to talk about was Woody Harrelson. Uh, Woody Harrelson is actually in talks right now to possibly play a role in Venom. And I know some people are like, what? That's crazy. Like, why would he do this movie? Well, he did work with the director Ruben Fleischer before on Zombieland. And so I think they just have a friendship. And I'm thinking it's not going to be a big role, although that would be cool if it was a big role. I like Woody Harrelson. I think he's a fantastic actor. And you put him in the right role, you give him the right, you know, source material to work with. You flesh out a nice character for him. I think he nails it every time. Seeing him as a cameo would just be fun. You know, if they just if this like a, just a favor he's getting like hey would you do this just play like a, a a throwaway part and if it's something that you know the movie takes off maybe it's something we can bring it back for later uh maybe he's for all i know he's the bruce campbell of this movie uh, like the way bruce campbell was in sam raimi's spider-man's so it could be that small of a role it could be like a henchman or something like that i think one re one site reported that um but i'm excited either way i mean if, for me i was thinking like riz ahmed i was thinking he was going to play the sin eater and that would be cool if riz ahmed was maybe either the real Sin Eater or the guy who claimed to be Sin Eater and then have Woody Harrelson be the opposite. So you have, like, that's what happened in the comics was there was a real Sin Eater and then there was a one that called Eddie Brock in at the newspaper and fed him these confessional stories that weren't true. And Eddie Brock was just reporting them, being like, yes, I'm, we're, the newspaper's getting hits. I'm single-handedly saving this newspaper. Newspapers are dying, so I'm, like, saving the company now. And I'm a hero to everyone, and this is great. I'm not going to check my facts or nothing. It's just this story is blowing up, and who knows if the real Sin Eater even will come out, you know, or if not, this guy has to be it. Why would anyone claim it? And turns out that that person's like, you know, giving him BS. And it's just a, he's a serial confessor. Like he calls every time something big happens, this guy calls, he takes claims for bombings. He takes claims for murders, all that stuff. And like I said, I think just a lot of that could be relevant to today, what's going on in the world today. And also keep that creepy tone of like people who are broken. And that just seems to be a theme in Venom's universe. If you really break him down psychologically, it's a guy who feels like an outcast to humanity. So he doesn't follow the rules all the time until he meets something greater, like more evil than him. Um, and it has, is a greater evil than him in something like Carnage or the other symbiotes. And then it, it kind of keeps him in check. It makes him, he goes up to the line and he doesn't cross it, you know, and uh, like fully, uh, even though he kind of has in the comic books before. But uh, I, I, I don't know, I find the character very interesting. I, I'm sure the movie probably won't go this deep into some of the stuff I say and what I hope for, uh, but I like to just, this is how I talk about characters. Like I get into the mentality of them. I get into the psychology. I, I figure out what makes them tick. I'm a writer myself. I, I, you know, I like to draw too. So it's like, I like to understand things, the why to characters, why they do something, why they're motivated to do something. And Venom's just an interesting topic, especially when you add the symbiote onto him and it's like him and Eddie, it's like, I don't know, it works for me. And like I said, I find it relevant and more relevant than if he, if they changed his backstory and made him like, you know, Flash Thompson and made him a soldier. I would still watch that movie, but I would be like, ah, eh, that's that's not the character. Like, you know, the character is 
is this. He's 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 a guy who is misguided and he and he sought fame and he got it and he thought he was doing good with that fame and it turned out to blow up in his face. And so I don't know, that's just way more interesting to me. Um, but Woody Harrelson being in this movie, I think is fantastic. If he is, I hope the rumors are true. They haven't officially announced him yet, but I just want to talk about it. Get your all, you know, everyone's thoughts out there. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Who do you think he'll play? Uh, who do you want him to play, more importantly? Uh, because we can get that speculation train going and talk about it. Uh, but again, just wanted to report on this since it was here. And since I just finished filming uh, a bunch of stuff today, I was like, ah, what a good thing to end my, my night on. After I'm uploading more stuff to YouTube of Resident Evil, I will be uploading a couple more videos through the next couple days. So if you're here just for Venom Vlog or if you're here for Gotham City Bricks, I'm sorry. This other content is going up for right now, uh, but I will have more vlogs coming soon. I'm just getting over being sick also. And then I have a lot of work coming up with real life and writing a book too. So I'm doing the best I can. If we can make it through December, I promise you, movie news for Venom will come out more and more. And I'll do more and more videos every week for this. And I'll do more videos of me working out, what I'm eating, that kind of stuff. So again, as always, I appreciate the support so much. Thank you all very much. I'm keeping this going because of the views I'm getting on there on these videos is more than my other videos. I, I'm averaging like five views a video, maybe two on a lot of videos. And, uh, and Venom is just, you know, 20, 30, 40. I think a couple of them are over 100. So it, it just means a lot to me. It really does. And uh, and I, I appreciate it. So if some of you that are watching, share your stories with me. Let me know what you like about the character. Uh, has, has a fictional character ever motivated you to get in shape or do something different in your life? Let me know all that down below. Thanks so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I will see you all in the future. Peace.